Welcome to One Travel Maker, your ultimate guide to exploring the world one destination at a time. Today, we're embarking on an enchanting journey through the captivating city of Lisbon, Portugal. Nestled along the scenic banks of the Tagus River, Lisbon is a city that effortlessly blends its rich history with a vibrant contemporary culture. But before we delve into the heart of this mesmerizing city, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our future travel tips and adventures. Feel free to share your own Lisbon experiences or ask any questions in the comments below. And as a special treat, we have a bonus attraction waiting for you at the end of our countdown. So stay tuned. Lisbon, often referred to as the City of Seven Hills, is a destination that enchants visitors with its historic charm, colorful neighborhoods, and a unique blend of tradition and modernity. With a history dating back millennia, Lisbon has witnessed the rise and fall of empires, making it a treasure trove of architectural wonders, cultural delights, and culinary pleasures. Our journey today will take us through the top 10 must-see attractions in this beautiful city, showcasing Lisbon's diverse offerings, from ancient fortresses to vibrant food markets, and from captivating museums to stunning panoramic views. So without further ado, let's embark on our Lisbon adventure and unveil the top 10 picks that will inspire your next trip to this enchanting Portuguese gem. And don't forget to stick around for the bonus attraction that awaits at the end of our countdown. Thank you for joining us and let's explore Lisbon together. Our journey begins with the iconic Belém Tower, one of Lisbon's most iconic landmarks. This architectural masterpiece, also known as the Tower of St. Vincent, is a testament to the rich history of Portugal and the Age of Exploration. Built in the 16th century during the Age of Exploration, the Belém Tower served as a symbol of Portugal's maritime power and played a pivotal role in the nation's history. As you approach the tower, uh, you can't help but be captivated by its intricate manualine architecture. The facade is adorned with maritime motifs, carved stone ropes, and even mythical sea creatures. Inside the tower, you'll find a series of chambers that once served as a military fortress. As you explore, you'll discover the strategic importance of this location. It was built to defend Lisbon from potential invaders approaching via the Tagus River. But what truly sets the Belém Tower apart uh, is its breathtaking panoramic views. Ascend to the top terrace and you'll be rewarded with sweeping vistas of the river, the 25 Diabril Bridge, and the picturesque district of Belém. Today, the Belém Tower stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a testament to Portugal's legacy of exploration and maritime prowess. And speaking of legacy, did you know that the recipe for Portugal's beloved pastel de nata those delectable custard tarts originated right here in Belém at the nearby Geronimos Monastery. So whether you're a history enthusiast, an architecture buff, or simply a traveler seeking breathtaking views, a visit to the Belém Tower is an absolute must when exploring Lisbon. Lisbon's iconic vintage trams are more than just a mode of transportation. They're a living piece of the city's history. Step aboard and you'll find yourself transported to a bygone era. These charming streetcars have been a part of Lisbon's landscape since 1901. Tram 28, in particular, is a favorite among tourists. It winds its way through the city's oldest neighborhoods, offering a unique perspective of Lisbon's narrow streets and historic landmarks. But did you know that before the electric trams, Lisbon used horse-drawn trams to navigate its hilly terrain? Due to the city's steep slopes, these trams were eventually replaced by more efficient cable-driven transport. Funiculars are another fun way to explore Lisbon. A sensor do Lavra, inaugurated in 1884, was the city's first funicular. Others, like Elevator de Gloria, are famous for their colorful street art. The Bica Funicular is a must-visit, taking you through some of the city's most picturesque neighborhoods. 
While Lisbon's vintage trams and funiculars hold a special place in our hearts, the city has also embraced modern lifts, like the Elevator de Santa Justa, which connects downtown to the Quiado district. And for those seeking modern convenience, there's Lift Castello, a vertical lift that effortlessly connects you to Lisbon's historic castle. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a transportation aficionado, or simply looking for a unique way to explore the city, Lisbon's vintage public transportation has something to offer everyone. Our next step is another Lisbon's most iconic landmarks, the Castell of St. George. This historic fortress, perched majestically atop one of Lisbon's seven hills, has witnessed centuries of tales, conquests, and transformations. The story of the Castell of St. George dates back to ancient times, with evidence of human habitation on this hill dating as far back as the 6th century BC. But it wasn't until the first century AD that the Romans fortified this strategic location, setting the stage for centuries of history to unfold. Over the years, the castle evolved, taking on different forms and functions. It became a stronghold for the Moors during their rule, only to be recaptured by the Portuguese military during the 1147 siege of Lisbon. Today, visitors can step back in time as they explore the castle's extensive grounds. From the ruins of the royal palace to a permanent exhibition showcasing archaeological finds, the Castell of St. George offers a window into Portugal's storied past. But perhaps the real treasure of this fortress lies in its breathtaking panoramic views. From here you can gaze out over Lisbon's terracotta rooftops, the shimmering waters of the Tagus River, and some of the city's most iconic landmarks. And don't be surprised if you encounter some colorful and vocal residents during your visit. Peacocks, a sort of unofficial castle permanent residence, add a touch of whimsy to the experience. For a deeper understanding of the castle's history and significance, consider joining one of the guided walking tours that will take you on a journey through time. And if you're intrigued by Lisbon's historical treasures, the nearby Geronimo's Monastery is just a stone's throw away. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and another must-visit destination. We're now immersing ourselves in the vibrant culinary scene of Lisbon at the iconic Mercado da Ribeira. This historic market, dating back to the 13th century, is a gastronomic paradise where the past and present collide in a celebration of flavors. As you wander through the market, you can't help but admire its architecture, iron interiors, and a magnificent oriental dome that has been drawing visitors for over a century. The market is divided into two sections, the traditional market, where local vendors sell the freshest produce, and the modern food hall, a bustling space with over 30 stalls and bars. The modern food hall, also known as the timeout market, is a culinary extravaganza. Here you'll find top-notch Portuguese cuisine alongside international flavors that reflect Lisbon's diverse and cosmopolitan character. Sample traditional Portuguese delicacies like bacalhau, salted codfish, or grilled sardines. Don't miss the opportunity to savor a plate of freshly caught seafood or the famous Portuguese custard tarts known as pastéis de nada. Fun fact, in 2014, Time Out magazine took over the food hall part of Mercado da Ribeira, transforming it into a foodies paradise known as the Time Out Market. And the culinary delights don't stop here. Venture beyond Mercado da Ribeira to the LX Factory, a bohemian haven situated in a repurposed textile factory complex. LX Factory is brimming with trendy bars and restaurants, quirky shops, independent art studios, and one of the most unique bookstores in the world, Livraria Lair Devagar. But the culinary journey doesn't end there. Explore districts like Alfama, where traditional taverns and restaurants offer live fado, a unique genre of music that originated right here in Lisbon.
Step back in time at Carmo Convent. The Carmo Convent, with its hauntingly beautiful skeletal arches, is a powerful reminder of Lisbon's rich and complex history. This grand structure was built in the 14th century, once serving as the largest church in Lisbon. But history had other plans. The Great Earthquake of 1755, a catastrophic event, brought the once magnificent church to its knees. Today, visitors can explore the cavernous interior of the Carmo Convent, where the grand arches that remain tell a story of resilience and survival. The convent's sacristy houses a small archaeological museum with captivating artifacts that offer glimpses into Portuguese history. Fountains, tombs, and architectural relics from different eras. Don't miss the interactive video projection that vividly narrates the convent's history, allowing you to step into the shoes of those who witnessed its transformation. But perhaps the most breathtaking part of the Carmo convent is its rooftop. Ascend to the top, and you'll be treated to panoramic views of Lisbon that stretch as far as the eye can see. To truly appreciate the history and significance of the Carmo Convent, consider joining one of the guided walking tours that provide insights into its past and the city's evolution. Fun for all ages awaits at Lisbon Zoo. Lisbon Zoo, founded in 1884, is not just a zoo, it's a haven of biodiversity right in the heart of Portugal. The zoo is home to over 2,000 animals from 300 different species, representing the incredible diversity of the animal kingdom. From dolphins to tigers, reptiles to primates, and a host of other fascinating creatures, Lisbon Zoo is a treasure trove of wildlife. Beyond the excitement of seeing these animals up close, the zoo plays a vital role in scientific research, conservation, and breeding of endangered species. It's not just about entertainment. Lisbon Zoo is committed to educating future generations about the importance of wildlife conservation. As you explore the zoo, you can embark on a unique adventure, an awe-inspiring 20-minute cable car ride that offers a bird's-eye view of the animal habitats below. Beyond the animals, Lisbon Zoo is a beautiful park, with lush greenery and serene surroundings, providing the perfect backdrop for a leisurely stroll. The zoo's commitment to conservation goes beyond its borders. It supports various international projects aimed at protecting endangered species and their habitats. Animal welfare is paramount at Lisbon Zoo, and you can witness the care and dedication of the zookeepers in every corner of this remarkable institution. During our next destination in Lisbon, we're venturing into the realm of creativity at the Museum of Art, Architecture, and Technology, also known as MAT. MAT is more than just a museum. It's a testament to contemporary design and innovation, a striking presence on the banks of the River Tagus. Step inside, and you'll be immersed in a world where art, architecture, and technology converge to inspire and challenge our perceptions. MAT prides itself on hosting ever-changing exhibitions that push the boundaries of creativity. From thought-provoking contemporary art to cutting-edge architectural concepts, this museum is a hub of artistic exploration. One of MOT's defining features is its commitment to showcasing the works of both national and international artists, fostering a global dialogue through the language of art. Ascend to the museum's rooftop 
and you'll be treated to breathtaking vistas of the 25 D'Abril Bridge and the cityscape, a perfect backdrop to contemplate the artistry that surrounds you. Matt isn't just a place to admire art. It's an immersive experience. Interactive exhibits invite visitors to engage with the artwork in new and exciting ways. Don't forget to venture to the Tejo Power Station, a historic thermoelectric power plant that has been transformed into a permanent exhibition venue. The power station is a captivating space where the echoes of industrial history harmonize with contemporary art. Take a moment to unwind in Matt's serene garden, a tranquil oasis amid the bustling city where art and nature coexist in harmony. The next stop is a step into a world of architectural marvels and rich history at the Geronimo's Monastery in Lisbon. The Geronimo's Monastery, with its intricate Manueline architectural details, stands as a testament to Portugal's golden age of exploration and discovery. Construction of this grand monastery began in 1501, but would take a century to complete, a labor of love and devotion. The monastery replaced an old church used by monks who provided assistance to sailors in transit, a place of solace and guidance for those embarking on perilous journeys. The Manueline architectural style, evident throughout the monastery, incorporates maritime elements carved in limestone, brought back from the far reaches of the globe by Portuguese explorers like Vasco da Gama and Pedro Alvarez Cabral. As you explore the two-story cloisters and the Church of Santa Maria, it becomes apparent why the Geronimo's Monastery is considered a symbol of Portugal's immense wealth during the Age of Discoveries. Inside the monastery, you'll be captivated by the intricate details, vaulted ceilings adorned with ornate designs, and chapels filled with centuries-old art and artifacts. The Geronimo's Monastery is not just a historical site, it's also a final resting place for prominent figures, including the famous Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama. As anticipated before, while talking about Belém, the recipe for the world-renowned Portuguese custard tarts, known as Pasteis de Nata, or Pasteis de Belém, was created by the monks of the Geronimo's Monastery. Whether you visit during the day, with the sun illuminating its grandeur, or at night when it's bathed in soft, enchanting light, the Geronimo's Monastery is a true masterpiece. By the next stop, we're diving into an underwater world like no other at the Oceanario de Lisboa. The Oceanario de Lisboa isn't just an aquarium. It's an aquatic sanctuary, an immersive experience that transports you to the depths of the ocean. Europe's largest indoor aquarium is home to over 16,000 marine animals and plants, representing 450 different species. As you explore the aquarium's diverse exhibits, you'll come face to face with sand tiger sharks, playful sea otters, and comical penguins, among other mesmerizing creatures.
But the Oceanario offers more than just a visual spectacle. It's also an educational hub with informative panels that provide insights into animal life in their natural environments. The Oceanario's main attraction is its massive tank, where you can watch the marine world unfold through strategically placed glass panels. Interactive exhibits engage visitors of all ages, making learning about marine life both fun and enlightening. Beyond the aquatic wonders, the Oceanario is a work of art itself. Its distinct architectural design adds to the sense of wonder and adventure. Don't miss the opportunity to embark on a captivating 20-minute cable car ride, offering a unique perspective of the marine habitats below. Surrounding the Oceanario is the Parque das Nações, the former site of Expo 98, where you can admire the majestic Vasco da Gama Bridge and other stunning landmarks. Commerce Square, or Praça do Comercio, isn't just a square. It's a symbol of Lisbon's rich history, serving as a transportation and commercial hub for centuries. This expansive plaza has witnessed countless moments in Portuguese history, from royal processions to significant events that have shaped the nation. Climb the arch for a bird's eye view of the square and the city, a breathtaking vantage point that allows you to take in the grandeur of Lisbon. The arch's entrance leads you into Rua Augusta, Lisbon's main pedestrian thoroughfare, lined with shops, cafes, and restaurants, an ideal place for shopping and savoring Portuguese cuisine. Nearby, you'll find Rossio Square, a historic hub that has been at the heart of Lisbon since the Middle Ages, adorned with Baroque fountains and neoclassical architecture. While here, be sure to take a moment to enjoy a coffee or a meal at one of the historic cafes or restaurants, like the renowned Café Nicola. Marvel at the traditional Portuguese pavement, or calçada, which is an art form in itself, with intricate patterns that adorn the plaza. And now, the bonus attraction we promised. After crossing the Tagus River, we can explore the charming Almada district and the awe-inspiring Cristo Rey National Sanctuary. To begin our journey, we'll hop on a scenic ferry ride from Lisbon to Almada, a district known for its rich cultural heritage and stunning views. Almada welcomes you with picturesque streets, historic architecture, and a warm, inviting atmosphere that transports you back in time. Take a moment to savor traditional Portuguese dishes at local restaurants where flavors come alive and every meal is a culinary adventure. Our journey takes us to the Cristo Rey National Sanctuary, a sanctuary that resembles the iconic Christ the Redeemer statue of Rio de Janeiro. As you ascend to the base of the Cristo Rey statue, you'll be treated to breathtaking panoramic views of Lisbon and the Tagus River, 
a view that will steal your breath away. The statue's intricate details and serene presence make it a place for reflection and a symbol of hope and faith. Explore the sanctuary surroundings where lush gardens and peaceful pathways provide a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. Whether you visit during the day or at night when the statue is beautifully illuminated, the Cristo Rey National Sanctuary is a place of spiritual connection and breathtaking beauty. As we conclude our journey through the top 10 things to do in Lisbon, we hope you've been inspired by the beauty, history, and culture of this incredible city. One travel maker is your window to the world's wonders, and we're thrilled to have shared Lisbon's treasures with you today. If you've enjoyed this adventure and want more travel inspiration, don't forget to subscribe to One Travel Maker. And before we say farewell, we'd love to hear about your own Lisbon experiences or any questions you may have. Leave a comment below, and let's keep the travel conversation going.